Um, so, our next speaker, I want to introduce to you. Uh, some of you will know him, some of you will not. Uh, the next speaker is Marianne Marouche, uh, who will be speaking about the most important things in life and what to do to take care about them. Marianne is a team lead of one of the greatest teams in Sabre, so I've heard. Um, uh, and he's been working for Sabre now for about five years. Marianne is also a bike-addicted salsa dancer, amateur actor, founder of Christian speed dating website, and during his free, his free time, he creates graphics. Please, welcome Marianne Bruce on stage. Marianne. Thank you. Today I would like to talk about the most important thing in life. I don't know you, I don't know nothing about you and nothing about your life. But I believe that in your life there is a lot of important things. But I believe that there is one of them which is the most important. At the beginning I would like to tell you a story about Jar of Life. Who have, he who have heard this story? Please raise your hand now. Okay? So not of all of you. So I think it's great time to tell the story now. Imagine that you have a jar, empty jar, and you will put golf balls inside this jar. And the question is, is it full now? Some of you will say yes, some of you will say no, but the answer is no. Because you can put the pebbles inside the jar, and the question is the same. Is it full now? Not, it's not full, because you can put the sand inside the jar. Is it full? No, because there is place for water. Let's try to recognize that the jar is the symbol of your life. And the golf balls is the symbol of the most important things, like family, health, passions. The pebbles are the symbol of the less important things, like car, job, and home. And the sand is the symbol of everything else, like buying, cleaning, and transport. But I think we should look at our life in this way, that if we will put the less important things in the jar of our life, there will be no place for the most important things. Let's move on and try to answer the question, what is really important for you in your life? Let's prepare a list. I think it will be useful for us. So what is important? Is it your partner? Is it your children? Is it your health sport? Is it your passions? Is it your shopping and house elements? But the next question related to this is, how much time do you spend on such a things? With your partner, it might be half an hour every day. I'm not talking about spending time together, but being together, talking about this, what is important. How do you feel? How can I help you? What is inside your heart? I'm talking about this time. Maybe you spend your time with your children, it's about one hour for playing or talking about this, what was at school. Maybe you are trying to go to the gym, to the training and trying to take care about your health. And you are trying to take care about your passions. Maybe it will take about two hours. I don't know, cars, you may be a salsa dancer or a programmer and you would like to increase your skills. And at the end, you might spend one and a half hour on a different things, like preparing on the next day, or do some stuff which are important for you in your house. But is this a real order of, the, of those things? Let's put at the beginning those items which takes more time and at the bottom those items which takes less time. So at the beginning you will see the passions, but at the end you will see your partner. 
So from my point of view, if you spend on something more time, it means that it's more important for you. If you spend on something less time, it's less important for you. So the question is still the same. So what is the most important thing? I think the answer is easy. It's not the money, but from my point of view, it's time. You will ask time? Yes, time, but not this time, the different time. Because if you have a time, you can take care about your family, about this what is important for you, is related to love. If you have a time, you can learn anything you want. If you have a time, you can take care about your health. If you have a time, you can develop your passions. Okay, but do we have a time for this? Probably you have heard that American scientists have been checking all the things around the world. They have been checking how much time we are spending in different areas. And they even know how much time you spend in the toilet. And now I think it's worth to look at this example, that we are spending 30 years in, for sleeping, 10 years for working, and 9 years for video games, social networks, and different elements. And as you can see, we have only 9 years of free time. But I believe that we have more time. So, how to have more time if you don't have it? In the next slide, I would like to show you some examples of this, how we could exchange our time in different areas and how to optimize them to have more time. So imagine that you are driving to your work, to your university, at, and imagine that it may take even one and a half an hour from one point to your workplace. I have a friend, and she is living in Katowice, and she spends about one and a half hour to get from Katowice to Krakow. And it's about three hours every day, 15 hours per week. It's about 780 hours per year, so it's about 32 days. I think it isn't worth to waste this kind of time. So maybe it's worth to consider to moving close, closer to your work. But you will say, I have a family. I have a children in the school, it's hard for me. Okay, so try to use this time in your car. Maybe you can talk with your friends, with your family using mobile phone. Or you can listen audiobook. But if you don't live far, far away from your workplace, I think it's worth to consider riding by bike. Because this time, which we will spend in, on, on riding, you can exchange for gym. Okay, but you will say in Krakow we have a smoke and it's not good for your health, but we also have a solution for this. <laughs> so choose the best mask and go with it. I think it's worth it. So let's move on. Cleaning your house, your car. I think we may spend more time than we expected. It may be even seven hours per week and even 15 days per year. But maybe it's a bigger number, but if you consider how much time you spend on different areas related to cleaning, I think this is a real number. So what can we do with this? I think we can hire a cleaner. This is a solution from my point of view because you can really save your time. But the basic problem is trust, because we don't trust each other, I think. And this is the biggest problem. If you don't know someone, I think it's hard for you to put him a possibility to go to your home. So maybe ask your friends, and then they will tell you if they have a person who can help you. Maybe it's worth to consider buy less furniture or things to your home because you are moving them, you are cleaning them. Maybe it's worth to consider 
If I don't use them, maybe it's worth to sell them. And at the end is car cleaner. Because if there is a car station responsible for cleaning, I think there's a possibility that you, that you will wait in the queue. But maybe it's worth to consider that you will park your car on parking and call a person who will clean your car and you will not waste this time. Okay, but you will tell me, tell me I don't want to pay for it. But think about it. How much is worth your free time? Maybe it's worth much more. Calculate how much you can earn and how much you can spend on free time. Because you can go with your children on Saturday to the forest on any, anywhere you want. You will not spend this time on cleaning all the house. Okay, another example. Traveling by car, by bus. To the city, to the country. It may take even from three to six hours every week. You don't believe me? Imagine that you are traveling to Wrocław. You have to be one hour before, I think, bus will start because you have to go to tramway and then you have to go to the bus station. And then three hours and to Wrocław and probably one hour from the bus in Wrocław to the home destination. So it may take a long time but maybe worth to consider an option which are possible in our life, using blah blah car or using traveling by Facebook groups. I think it's worth to consider because you will travel with someone and you will give him money just for petrol. But the good advice of this that if you will give him more money, you could ask him, hey, could you take me from my home to the main destination? you will have your private taxi from Krakow to Wroclaw. I think during this time when we are in the private taxi, we can read books on use or use notebook. I don't know how often do you have a chance to do this, but I do. And it's great possibility in this kind of transportation to meet new people. A few weeks ago, I was tra traveling from Rzeszów to Krakow. And I've met a great person who is a wedding planner. And sh she told me a lot of different things about wedding planning. So if you want some advices, just ask me. So the next slide is related to shopping. I think you know all the things about the shopping, about Allegro, AliExpress, Amazon. And I don't want to talk about it. But I want to talk about food because Without food, it's hard to live. But maybe it's worth to consider to don't waste such a long time for buying because it might take four hours every week, nine days in a year. Four hours, you have to go by car, find a place in the parking, go to the supermarket, find all the things which you need and probably you will buy much more than you expected and go back to your home. Maybe it's worth to buy food online because you will pay just between 7 to 12 zlotys for delivery. And you will have an application where you can find the most of important products for you and you will not waste this time. So let's talk about paying for tickets, receipt. It may take even a few minutes every day, one hour every week, and two days in a year. And now you will say, you are crazy. You are counting the minutes every minute, every day. It's crazy. But do you remember the title of this conference? Geek Driven Adventure. And I'm a geek. And, and I'm not afraid to say it. So, what kind of solution do we have? Follow technology. You can pay for the tickets using Skycash. You can pay, pay by car or mobile using Android Pay. And of course, you can pay for parking using Mobi Parking. I think it's really easy and faster way because you will not waste time for 
looking up a place where you can buy a ticket on parking. Okay. I think it's worth to also increase your productivity because we have only 20 minutes and I would like to talk about this kind of applications, but we don't have enough time. So consider if you would like to increase your productivity, not only in your private life, maybe you can use it in your work. Okay, type faster. I'm not sure if you have been thinking about this, because we are typing letters, poems, using Facebook or anything else. But you can be one of these two guys, the first guy or the second guy. So there is a lot of courses available online and you can really type better than now. You will not waste this time on typing. I would like to be like Jim Carrey, maybe someday. Okay, I was, I, a few years ago I created initiatives related to Christian speed dating. What I'm why I'm talking about this now? Because on this kind of meetings, you, could, you can meet a lot of people and in one hour, you can meet even 12 people and talk with them five minutes. But I think it's worth to meet a people like this. Because I'm not sure how often you have a chance to go to the party and meet different people. But I'm not sure that you have a chance in one hour meet 12 people. If it's possible, tell me what, how do you do this? Okay, so Take care about your time, because your time is limitless. And we have a habit, and I've present you some kind of ideas. What can you do? But the first, uh, the most important rule is don't try to change everything. Because it's impossible. Pick one thing, like hire a car cleaner or hire a house cleaner. Maybe it will change your life into something better. Because if you have a time, you can connecting the dots, resolving a problems. If you have a time, you can develop your passion. If you have a time, you can become a champion. So, this is important thing. I will tell you something what may change your life. You will die someday, but not today. I believe, I believe that not after a party. But you will die and use your time properly because time is priceless. Time is limitless, and you cannot exchange it. You don't have a travel machine to change your decision from the past, but you can change your future. So, at the end, I want to say one thing. It's time to end, because I don't want to waste your time. Thank you. Thank you. Marianne, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to waste your time, obviously. Okay. <laughs> um, one quick question. How big is your life jar? What? Your life jar. I think it's too small. It's too small? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So maybe that, there's time to clean it up a little. Yeah. I'm still working on this. I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to be. Uh-huh. Great. Yeah. So if you could share with us what are the least important things in your life chart, if you could name just three of them. Three of them? Yeah, the least important. Because I'm a Christian, so the most important for me is God. But the second place is family. I don't have a wife yet. Well, but... <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> but someday. <laughs> and family, I have a parent, I have a sister, I have friends, and they are really important for me. And, and at the third place is my passions. I am trying to improve them. Okay. Thank you very much. Please give Mariana a round of applause. Thank you.